Alright, hello people. I'm the dude and this is a tutorial for how to fix Windows Arrow. That is the best definition I have for it. Uh, a couple of days ago, some of my programs stopped working and it took me a while to find out why and it turned out that Windows Arrow had disabled itself. Uh, Windows Arrow is a theme that comes with Windows Vista and Windows 7. It makes your windows have this, uh, quote, glass-like end quote. That's the uh, Microsoft term for it. Basically this really cool looking border to it. It also changes your color scheme and a couple other things. Some programs use it visually and you need Arrow to run those programs. That's how I realized that it had disabled, it had disabled itself. So basically this tutorial is going to show you how to fix the errors that are causing it to be disabled and re-enable it. Uh, just to make sure you have the problem, right click on your desktop, anywhere will do, go down to the bottom here, it'll either say personalize or properties or something like that. Go to window, color, and appearance up here at the top. And if this window pops up with the different color schemes and transparency and all this stuff, you already have arrow enabled, you do not have this problem, so don't worry about it. If this window pops up first, appearance settings, Go to this color scheme box down here, and if you see Windows Arrow, all you have to do is double click it, go to Apply, and press OK, and you'll have the Arrow theme up. If Windows Arrow was not even in this list, you have the problem I'm talking about. This video is for you. If Windows Arrow, what I have highlighted right now, is not even in this list at all, that's the problem. So get out of this, close all the windows, go to the bottom left here, go to Start, go to All Programs, Go to Accessories, which are right here. Go to Command Prompt. Right click. Run as Administrator. Gives you an elevated command prompt. Type SFC space slash scan now. That's what it's going to look like right there. Hit Enter. It's going to scan. It's going to take quite a while. Eventually, when it gets done scanning, it's going to tell you that there are errors. Uh, it will fix the errors. It will say... Uh, all errors are paired or something like that at the bottom and once that's done it's going to give you this file right here on your desktop SFC details go into the file and in this file somewhere it will say that there was an error found and repaired I think I had like three different ones there was one right at the bottom yeah here's one right here repairing corrupted file windows policy definitions uh, in in tress dot admx I had several of these, I think three or four of them, and uh, the scan fixed them. By the way, that scan, that SFC scan comes with Windows. You don't need to download anything. It's just a part of Windows. Anyways, uh, after this scan right here fixes all the errors, go to your toolbar down here, right-click, Task Manager, and then go to Services. You're probably going to start on Applications tab. Go to Services tab right here. Scroll down to Themes, which will be under T right there and you can right click and try to go to start service if it automatically starts up then it wasn't disabled in the first place uh, and you didn't have the same problem I did but hooray for you it's working <laughs> uh, but if it doesn't start up if it says uh, it can't start because it's uh, it's not enabled in Windows startup or something like that uh, go to services down here on the bottom right it's gonna open up another window over here and once it loads it's going to have a bunch of different services for you to scroll through. Go to Themes, down here, right click, Properties, and you want to change the startup type to Automatic. Uh, when I had the error and I had this problem, I fixed the errors with a scan, and when I went to this window right here, it was on Disabled, presumably because of the errors. You want to switch it to Automatic. Apply, OK. The second one that you want to fix, which in case you want to find it in the services window, it's called UX SMS, which is right, where is it, right there. This is the second one you want to fix. That's its name right there in the services window over here. Uh, desktop window manager, so go up to the D's. Go to desktop window manager right there. There's the scrolled out version, that's the full name. Right click properties same deal go to startup type switch it to automatic like I said mine was on disabled I had to switch it to automatic go to apply okay 
Once you've done that, exit both of these, and all you have to do is re-enable it. Go to right-click on the, the desktop, go to Personalize or Properties or whatever's at the bottom here. Go to Window Color and Appearance again, and if it's already enabled itself, you'll see this window. If not, you'll see this one again over here. All you have to do is double-click Windows Arrow, which should be on the list now. Double-click it, apply. It'll do this little please wait and it'll update your windows and it should be fixed. You should see this glass-like is what Microsoft calls it. I don't think it really looks like glass, but it does look nice. But regardless of the way it looks, uh, some programs need Arrow enabled to function. And that was the problem I had. I needed Arrow back. It wasn't some aesthetic type thing. I needed it. But uh, anyways, hopefully that helps someone. Uh... I don't do tutorials, so if this tutorial is terrible, or if you have any questions, or you just want to comment on how terrible I am at doing tutorials, feel free to comment about it in the comments section, and I'll read them and reply. So anyways, I'll see you guys next time.